I'm sure you've all seen the reports about the increasing statistic of anxiety. Right now, according to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, the most latest report shows that one in five people, adults in the U.S., struggle with anxiety. Now, this study didn't look at children, and children have anxiety too, and it's keeping up with what the adults have. The problem with anxiety is that some parts of anxiety are helpful to us. They motivate us. They instigate things. They're like a catalyst to get us going. Those are called proactive anxiety. And although that kind isn't dangerous to our mental health, it can be if people are so anxious with other things. So I've gotten a lot of questions from different people following and just different clients in general, how much anxiety is too much anxiety. So I'm going to go through some answers to questions that I got. If you have more questions about this topic, please feel free to comment. I'll try to get back to this video and I'll try to answer them with my best um, psychological training that I have. First of all, how do you know if your anxiety is too much? I would say, as would most experts, that if your anxiety is causing you to want to stay home from work, you're not performing well, you're not enjoying relationships, you're more tense around your children, around your significant other, you feel depressed and doomed, you want to stay in bed all day, then your anxiety is too much. Secondly, what are normal anxiety levels and what could I expect? Well, I think feeling a little anxious during holidays is normal. That's part of stress. I think feeling anxious if you have a doctor's appointment, something coming up that you're nervous about it, I think that's also somewhat normal because many people feel stressed around physicians, even going into a hospital, that would be normal. If your child is starting something new, if you have kids, then I think that would be a stressor. Having a baby, losing someone is a big stressor. Anything that adds a transition in your life could potentially be anxiety, and it would be considered normal unless it makes you dysfunctional. You can't work. Your relationships change. You feel like you're always fighting. You feel irritable, you feel depressed, that's when it's important that you get it checked out. What is treatment like? Treatment is thought to be scarier than it actually is. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the medical doctor. You're going to do that because some illnesses present with anxiety. Things like blood pressure problems, diabetes, um, some forms of hormonal issues. Sometimes when people have something more severe going on, you know, blood sugar ups and downs perhaps, or maybe even some sort of a cancer would begin that way. I'm thinking automatically of pancreatic cancer that makes changes in mental health right away. People are more depressed. They're more anxious with the presentation in early stages of that type. That's not to say if you're anxious, you have that, but going to a medical doctor is going to help with that. From there, I think it's really helpful if you can get aligned with a therapist because we know that exercise and therapy are almost at the same level as medication. What most of the time will happen is that the psychologist or a counselor will see you. They'll recommend that you see a physician just to be evaluated for meds. Sometimes your, your well doctor will tell you that. They'll say, you know, I think this medication would be helpful for you. But overall, you're going to need their screening medically. And they may want you to get a screening first with a psychologist so that they'll know for sure they are treating anxiety with that medicine instead of something else. If you're over the age of 65, many times they won't do a routine screening for anxiety when you go to the well doctor. So what should you do? You should advocate for yourself and ask for it. If you're feeling anxious, and we do know that depression and anxiety goes up in some people over the age of 65, 
That's very, very important. Don't live with this miserable urgency, this miserable doom feeling when you can get treatment for it that's really going to help you. And lastly, I would say, when you get anxiety, it's important you understand that although it is considered a mental illness, it's a mental illness you can cure. You can make it better. You can minimize the symptoms. But that means you have to advocate for yourself. You need to learn your own body. You need to learn how your anxiety has limited your life by avoiding certain triggers or certain fears that just put you over the edge. If you have control over feeling like you're going to go over the edge, you're going to be able to take more healthy risks. It's going to open your life. And going into the new year, there's nothing more important than giving yourself the best advantage you can. If you're feeling anxious, go to the doctor. Rather than just saying, well, it'll probably go away. If it doesn't go away in two weeks, that's even more of a significant reason to go. If this video is helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much.